Hey guys, Chris here for Toolman's Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will show you how to protect and clean your guitar's fretboard and neck. In this series, I want to show you how to get the most out of your guitars and how to fix the most common issues. I'll try to use as few special tools as possible to make it easier for you to follow. Today we'll talk about how to maintain the fretboard and the neck of your bass or guitar. Especially unfinished wood needs some attention and protection to avoid serious issues. If you don't want to miss any of our other Guitar Tech Tips videos, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks. Why is it so important to oil unfinished fretboards? If you let wood dry out too much, it will become so stiff that the truss rod cannot adjust the neck anymore. And that's a big problem. Unfinished and unoiled fretboards can start to crack, which looks nasty, and also it can lead to frets popping out or becoming loose. How often should you oil your fretboard? Well, it depends on the climate you have and also, of course, how much your hands sweat and how often you play. In a normal case, two to three times a year should be enough. Finished fretboards don't need that kind of attention. They are protected by the lacquer or any sort of finish they have. You should just clean them up every now and then with a moist cloth or some sort of a cleaner fluid. By the way, you probably know this, the fast fret. Many people use this. This is awesome for strings, but it's not fretboard oil. So uh, don't use it to clean your fretboard necessarily. If you want to clean finished surfaces and you don't want them to become glossy, don't use polish. Just a simple cleaner, they will do the job. Let's clean up and oil the fretboard on this base. It's best doing this when you're changing strings anyhow. You can clean the fretboard with super fine quad zero grade steel wool. Don't use double zero or triple zero ones. Those are way too rough and will scratch everything. And also don't forget about taping the pickups. Obviously, magnetic pickups, steel wool, mm -mm. You don't need a lot of steel wool, just a small piece. And start rubbing across the fretboard. Oh, and you'd have to be worried about the frets, they get polished on the way. There are, of course, alternative methods. You can clean up the fretboard with a cloth with some fretboard oil on it. You have to rub it against the wood. Or if the fretboard looks really nasty, you can use a scraper knife and peel off the dirt off the fretboard. But you have to be really careful with that. Then you apply the oil, you let it soak in for a few minutes and then wipe off the rest. Let's talk about fret polishing a little more. If the fretboard is unfinished, you can polish the frets while you are cleaning up the fretboard. That's what I did with the base. If the fretboard is finished, like on this tally, you should definitely protect it. That's a fretboard guard that you put around the fret while you're polishing it. You can, of course, still use the steel wool or polishing rubber. You have different gauges or grades. 400 is nice to start with and 1000 will make it really shiny. What's up with the back of the neck? Well, if it's finished, which is almost always the case, you can use a moist cloth or you can use a cleaner fluid. In case the back of the neck is unfinished, you will have to oil and even wax it. This is even more important than protecting the fretboard because this is the part of the neck you constantly touch and rub with your hands. And now it's time for a test ride. All right, guys, let me know in the comment section what your method is. Do you protect the fretboard? Do you use anything at all? It's time to become your own guitar tech. 